when I saw the smoke rolling out at this point, I certainly thought that my battery jump pack was toast. But luckily, it was just stuff burning off the exhaust, so everything was good. brakes are locked up on her. I'm going to have to get them freed because I'll have to roll it around in here to get it on my uh, lift. So that's one of the things I'll have to do. I can just take them off, you know. Woohoo! So here it is. It's in. It's ready for the cannibalization. I'm not too sure where I left off with this project with the uh, cannibalization of the sentry, but uh, I think this is about it. I got it pulled in here and I haven't done anything yet. i um, been busy, but uh, what I want to do now is, uh, it's in neutral, but as you can see, I can't move it. And I'd like to be able to move it, roll it back and forth at least to work on it, um, you know, when I depending on what I need to work on. It's a pain in the ass with this lift for some reason to open the doors and get in and out. So I want to be able to roll it back and forth. So I'm going to put this up on the lift, figure out what brakes are hanging up in the back. Uh, it's Actually it's the back driver side, I know that, because when I pulled it out of there and it was hanging up, uh, left a pretty good skid mark over there on that side. Whether the right side's hung up too or not, I'm not sure. But let's get her up on the lift and we'll go from there. So let's see what one's turned. Driver's side won't move. That one hangs up a little bit, but. It's definitely our driver's side over here that has the problem, so let's go to work on that.
nothing to it. Now we can get in there and I know and, and I know I know I could have probably loosened it up from the back here but I wanted to see what was going on in here anyhow and just uh, get to it this way so because I didn't know how well that would turn if that's all rusted your little adjuster in there so now I can look right at it and go right at it so in there's your adjuster little star wheel in there so I'm gonna pull this back and just try and spin that back to get these brakes uh, loose now well, let's see if I can show what I'm gonna do here and I'm gonna loosen them up pretty good because it doesn't matter it's never gonna go on the road again at least not that I know of and like I said I knew I could do this from the outside but I just want to get everything loosened up anyhow I'm not too sure if the emer maybe emergency brake sticking too if that's the case we'll unhook that or cut that because I really don't give a rat's ass That's what we wanted. So there we go. Now we'll put the tire back on and see if we can move her a roller back and forth. And uh, we tightened her down to proper torque specs and we also made sure that the uh, front wheels are turning freely and the brakes aren't hanging up on that so oh, got another piece of this so we'll roll it back and forth here see if it does what it, what we want it to and go from there Alrighty, I worked this morning at my job and came home to do this because I wanted to get a video out at least starting this. So this will be part one of the cannibalization of the century. Um, if anybody wants any Buick parts, 2002 Buick parts, let me know. If it's not too expensive or whatever, I'll ship them to you or we can work a deal out. Uh, the other thing is, if there's anything that you'd like to see me do take off from this I'm open to ideas I'm not promising you that I'll do any of them so with saying that I'm not sure what we'll move on to part two but we'll do something start ripping something off and uh, with that I'll say this is your favorite 98 percenter on YouTube Mike the disgruntled mechanic saying you know if you can get somebody else to do it you're probably better off thanks for watching uh, subscribe I could use some su subscriptions right now and um, thanks again for watching See you on the next one. Take care.